Mika. This is the Mixed Molecules Master of the Formula game. This is a two to four player, sorry, a one to four player game. Uh, this game, I actually had another copy that I used for work. This game is phenomenal with kids with ADHD or kids that have trouble with emotion control or emotion regulation or impulse control. Uh, let's open it up and take a look. Um, it's actually sealed. So I'm going to go ahead and try to break this seal and rip off this plastic. We can take a look at the components together. This is a brand new box, brand new game, not even open yet. This is done by Blue Orange Games. Blue Orange Games does really great family child games. Uh, if you have not heard of them, check them out. You can go to coolstuffinc.com or you can go to miniaturemarket.com and look up games by Blue Orange. Uh, they do some really fun games like Brave Rats. Uh, they originally did Spotted, I do believe, and then now they do uh, Dr. Eureka. And so you have these test tubes. It looks like a little test tube that you would see in a science room or a science lab. You have these little balls, they're really hard plastic. They do bounce when they hit the floor of the table. On my other game, uh, the, some of the test tubes were cracked on the bottom. Uh, I think maybe they may have changed the packaging to prevent some of that, so I'm checking that right now. Yep, none of these are busted or cracked, so that's good. Yeah. I'm going to check the ones with the balls in it because that's the ones that were cracked before. I think the balls were just slamming, so they must have made some improvements. Yeah, no cracks. So that's good. Uh, I do believe that the packaging wasn't white on the one I have for work. Uh, and then the rules are pretty simple. Uh, as you can see, you can follow this. It's really simple to, uh, to learn. Open these up, take off the cellophane. Uh, and these are the patterns that you have to follow. And we'll take this to the table so you guys can see how it's played. Now that we got them on the table, the way you play this game is that you go from left to right. I do believe it's green, red, purple. Uh, that's, everyone, that's how everyone has to start out. And then you'll take the top card, flip it over, and then everyone has to match the, this pattern. The way they do that is that they will attempt to move ball to or one ball in one tube to another or multiple balls without touching the tubes, without touching the balls, without dropping the balls. If you do, you're disqualified. Um, and when you do have the pattern, you have to have it exactly, and you say Dr. Eureka uh, or Eureka. <clears throat> if you do not have the pattern, you are disqualified. You can also flip your test tube upside down to meet the pattern requirements. You, another way you can play this game is you can have each person say the number of moves that they think they can get it in. If you can complete the turn in that many moves or less, wins. However, let's start. So we're all going to race to meet this pattern. The first person to get it says Eureka. Alright, let's go. One, two, three, go. She has it right. And she does have it right. So now she gets it. And then we'll do another card. We do not reset our tubes. We just start from where we are. I need mean, one, two, three, go. Again, now we have to check her pattern. And she is correct. There we go. We'll do one more time. One, two, three, go. again. All right. So let's take it back up top and give you our final thoughts. All right. Now for our final thoughts. Uh, this game is really short. Uh, it doesn't take much time to play at all. It says 15 minutes. And as you can see by the, uh, the gameplay that we, we just showed that, uh, yeah, it's a really simple game. The rules are really easy to follow. Uh, the components are really nice. Uh, Blue Orange Games did a really good job on this game. I heard that they have another game that's similar to this where they use Petri dishes and they use tweezers to move one thing from another, uh, which is really good for motor skills. Man, 
Uh, they, they really know what they're doing there. Uh, what's your thoughts on the game? Um, it, like you said before, it is a very simple game. I feel like, um, for younger kids, if they're wanting to, like, if they were to do something like cup stacking, because that's a thing, this would definitely be a game that kind of helps them, because, like, it's helping with speed. Um. So kind of like dexterity. Yes. And then also, too, this game does remind me, kind of, of a game called Chopsticks, that Made It Games created, where... There's a huge bowl filled with different like kinds of sushi, and then everyone has their own separate tiny bowl and chopsticks, and you have to like try to get a certain piece and put it into your own bowl. Okay. Yeah. So like another dexterity game. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I mean this kind of does fit in the range of the dexterity uh, because you are you have to manipulate the parts or the balls into the other tubes. Um, but yeah, this is one that I would recommend for, for any family since ages eight and up. Uh, you could easily play this with someone five or six. It's just that easy. Uh, if you have young children uh, and you're looking for some games, pick this up. You can pick it up uh, at any of your local game stores, uh, or if they don't have it, you can probably have them order it. Uh, we picked up a copy at uh, Hometown Comics and Games in um, Greenfield, Indiana. Uh, but yeah, if you can't find it in a local game store, feel free to look online. You can order this from either Amazon or Cool Stuff Inc. or Manager Market. But get this game. I highly recommend it. Thank you. Until next time, see you later.